All right, it's been a couple of days since the, uh, I did the uh, first video with the uh, Raspberry Pico, and, and I got some more parts, and I got a breadboard and some wires, LEDs, and so I can play with this thing a little bit better. And uh, I've been playing around with MM Basic more just to get uh, familiar with it. And uh, I've had to switch to TerraTerm because uh, Putty will not allow you to transfer files using the, uh, uh, I think, Xmodem protocol. I'm not quite sure about that, but you can't save your files basically locally. But TerraTerm allows you to do that. And so I've switched to that and I've set up my big fonts because I'm old. And so we have my giant fonts and uh, I've written a bit of code just to test things out. Uh, even though this is basic, it's slightly different than uh, GW basic and Q basic and quick basic and the things I know basically. So it's uh, a lot of things are still the same, but some things are a little bit different. And so I've been playing around with the uh, the code basically. So I I can make it uh, flash the LED. So we can do that. Um, and I've also been testing uh, the input command and print command and uh, assigning variables and passing those variables to a function and getting a result back. So all that seems to work the the way I like. And it works pretty good. There's uh, the documentation is really good. Uh, it's quite extensive. Let me see if I could bring that over to this monitor. So, so there's around uh, how many pages do we have here? Does it say? Yeah, 170 pages. And it's not 170 pages full of just uh, meaningless information. It's actually very good information with all the uh, things you need to know. So uh, it's not just a lot of filler. It's actually uh, good required uh, information. So I won't have to be Googling as much. Uh, it seems to be that most of what I need is here. But of course, Googling is always available. And um, and so I'm going to start just by playing with the uh, the simple things just to get things started. Uh, but like I said, there's uh, extensive documentation here, so which is good. So let me minimize that and back to our basic program. And uh, this will uh, set the the uh, pin 13 or GP 13, and I could flash that. And so let's uh, let's take a look and see how that works. Also, I have uh, uh, color syntax highlighting, but if you don't like that, uh, that can be changed. There you go. We can turn it off. And if we go back in there, it's off. But I actually like it on. It's the... Uh, Glorious CGA colors, if you're not familiar with the uh, cyan and the purple or pink and white and greens. Anyway, let's run this. Let me just hold this so you can actually see what happens while it's running. Uh, let's see. There we go. I'm not sure you can see the uh, light flashing. Maybe I'll. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put it down now. I think you've seen enough. Anyway, uh, to break out of the uh, program, we can do Control Break or Control C. Both work. So let's get back in there and. Uh, so here's where everything is happening, where you see the uh, paused and not paused. Uh, I'm putting in a slight delay and just basically turning the uh, LED on and off. Uh, so here's where we set it up here, right here. And 
we change the value here to turn it off and we change the value uh, to one to turn it on and we put pauses in between this will do it 20 times and uh, it'll get out of the loop on its own after 20. Uh, here's just some excess code I'm just testing the, uh, the logic to see if everything works as I expected and it does and uh, so far that's that's all I have and it's been working really well so if you're interested in a Raspberry Pico and you want to play with it in basic so far this is a good option as I figure out more things uh, more sensors and more uh, devices to test with M MM basic I will post further videos so thanks for watching